Hi, I'm Kathy Gorris. I work for Darman Manufacturing. We've been around for over 100 years. It's the fourth generation of ownership. We manufacture machinery for the laundry industry. We manufacture cabinets for cloth towel and also would accommodate paper towel. We sell mostly to laundries. We sell overseas to New Zealand, England, Canada, in the Midwest and the United States. Not so much in New York State, but a lot of other parts of, of the United States. Darwin Manufacturing started over 100 years ago. As I say, it's the fourth generation. It was founded by Joseph Darman, who immigrated from Malta and his family in 1910. He worked as a machinist for a number of years and decided to pursue his American dream, so he started his own business called Darman Manufacturing. Six years later, he finished designing a cabinet. It was totally different than this. It was a big um, metal cabinet with, with gears and guts and stuff like that. It was all steel. During the war, we manufactured shells here, ammunition. When Joseph passed away, it was his son Arthur took over, and he ran it for numerous years. And then Alan Darman and his wife bought it. Alan reinvented the cabinet. He did a wonderful job. It, as I say, it used to be all metal, and it was hard and expensive to make. So in the 80s, Perfect. we went to plastic. So the guts are still metal, but the casing is plastic. So Alan Darman was kind of a genius, and so he reinvented a lot of stuff. And it, it, it continued to change. Um, a lot of us working out in the shop would see something that would make it easier to reinvent or make it easier or cheaper to build. So we would add our, our two cents in, and uh, uh, that's what's nice about this place is we listen to everybody. The fourth generation is Pam Darman and her two sons, William and Max. So they kind of run the shop. Max and Pam Darman both live in uh, New Hartford. Willie is in Baltimore right now. He's an engineer, but he still has his, his little say in here. And as I say, uh, you know, we're, we're a small company, so it's a family. Um, even though we're not blood related, we're still family. Our cabinet, as I say, is all metal parts. Uh, the rollers are steel, and then we put a, a uh, aggressive anti-skid material on it. Perfect. Perfect. It, it's a very simple machine. The clean towel is down here. You dry your hands. The dirty towel ends up up here. And then when it's done, you take it out. Before my childhood, a few big names left. You know, you hear about the GEs and all that, and that kind of created the mentality that everything fled. But there's so many small to medium-sized manufacturers still left in Utica, New York, and the greater Utica area that we truly have a workforce and, you know, an industry pumping out a lot of unique products in Utica and the greater Utica area, and it's just not highlighted enough. I mean, today we're standing in a fourth-generation Utica business. Uh, and you go through the actual list of where sales are going, this is international. This isn't just some small company making stuff for local industry. They're sourcing parts from the region. They're manufacturing a product. It's going to multiple states, multiple countries. This is international business right here in Lincoln Ave. We're local and we try to keep all our businesses material-wise local, so we buy all our materials, steel, at Pacemaker Millar and anything else that we can get local, we do. You can find us online. We also sell to Amazon. They stock our products. We sell to individuals who find us online. We sell a lot of individuals. Small businesses buy them from us. Years ago, it used to be the big laundries. We still sell to the big laundries, but we sell a lot to the individuals now. Perfect. I've been here over 40 years. We are a group of about 10 employees all together. We just recently lost a gentleman who started working here when he was, I believe, 18, and he just passed away at 65, so he will be missed. Once somebody comes, they usually stay. You know, we're just, I can't say this enough, we're a family-oriented shop. Um, something happens to one person, it happens to everybody, so. 
I love working here in Utica. Uh, everything I need is down here. Um, I live in Steuben, which doesn't have any town or any stores or anything. So everything I do is down here in Utica. My doctors, my stores, my shopping, whatever I need is here.